My name is Emily and I've been living in Lombok for over a decade now. If you haven't already, take a look at my video about the top 10 things to do in Lombok. If you're thinking of visiting Lombok, I definitely recommend visiting Tetabatu, a town in the north of Lombok, near Rinjani. Its beauty of quiet rice fields, waterfalls, treks through the jungle and a view of Rinjani are incomparable. Often people go to Bali looking for rice fields and raw nature, head to Ubud, but only to find themselves in an overcrowded, hyped up town. But just one quick trip to the island next door, Lombok, you can see the pristine nature without the crowds. In this video, I'll tell you my recommended things to do in Tetabatu. The drive from Ku to Lombok is about an hour and a half. You can do a day trip here to trek and visit the waterfall, or stay a night or two to really take in the majestic scenery. Tetabatu also serves as a great starting point for hiking up Mount Rinjani, Indonesia's second highest volcano. Have a look at my video about hiking Rinjani for more details. My friend Jojo was over in Lombok visiting, so we decided to do a night in Tetabatu. We stayed the night in Hakiki Inn and really loved it. We ended up extending one more night. The view of Rinjani is breathtaking and the cute bungalows add to the jungle vibe. They also have a restaurant with delicious local food to try. Our first stop was the waterfall, Sarang Wallet. But of course, we had to stop and pat the puppy. <laughs> you can take a guide from the accommodation or if you have your own transport, make your own way there. You'll have to pay a small entrance fee, then make your way down. This waterfall is almost underground. It feels like you're walking through a secret river cave. Remember to wear shorts because you'll have to walk through the water. We were so lucky to be the only ones here and we could truly enjoy this magical place. They also have a restaurant next door called Sarang Wallet Warong. The food was really tasty. <laughs> we then went back to Hakiki Inn and enjoyed the sun setting and the view of Rinjani watching over us. The next morning we took in the view of Rinjani, had some breakfast and I did a little meditation. We decided we wanted to explore Tetabatu rice terraces. There are so many beautiful walks you can do. We wanted to walk to another waterfall, but we ended up getting a little bit lost. Although we didn't really mind because the nature and the views were so breathtaking. been walking for a couple of hours when a little boy saw us looking lost and offered to help show us where the waterfall was. Butter. 
Lima tahun? Enam tahun. Enam tahun? Wah, lalele sekolah, kan? Hah? Apa? Lalele sekolah? Wah. Libur. Libur? Oh. Kira jalan? Lima jalan. Lima jalan? Lima hari. Finally, after a day of walking, we found Durian Inda Waterfall. This is one of my favourite waterfalls. The walk down is pretty steep, but not too bad, and it's so amazing to walk through the jungle. We made it! Our one-day trek! We made it on our <laughs> It took us all day. Again, we got so lucky to be the only ones there. On the way home, we met a kind lady who offered us to come to her house for some coconuts. We were so thirsty after all the walking and the waterfall. This was exactly what we needed. There we were welcomed by her whole family. Emily. 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 <laughs> Lombok people are so friendly and welcoming. This is one of the reasons I love this place so much. When you visit, make sure you are open to meeting locals and experiencing their culture. Oh my god, it's a bit brutal. I know it is. Jesus. Oh my god, how do we stop them? How do we stop them? That is so savage. What are they doing? They look like they're going to eat. Let's go down in here. 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 <laughs> we took a picture and then they offered us a lift back to our accommodation. Another waterfall I would recommend visiting in Tetabatu would be Jeruk Manis. Enjoy the walk through the jungle before reaching this breathtaking waterfall. The walk is a little bit long, but not too far, and the nature is incredibly beautiful. But remember to bring a raincoat if you visit during raining season because we ended up getting stuck in a lot of rain on the way back. Be sure to try and connect with locals when you visit Lombok. Visit local villages, try local food, cooking classes, or visit this place and try and make your own coconut oil or coffee. Travel is all about experiencing different cultures and food. Hi, Adam. Pina, Minya, Jelang. Papu. <laughs> Final notes. So there you have it. If you're visiting Lombok, head to Tetabatu for the real awe inspiring rice fields and treks through the jungle. Climb Rinjani Mountain, visit the mystical waterfalls and local villagers to try cooking classes or making your own coconut oil or coffee. But mainly, enjoy this place, relax 
and take in the views of nature. I will leave a note in the description with some links to the accommodation guides, coconut oil making and also a few of my favourite cafes and warongs that you can eat in in Tetabatu. If you like this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know in the comments any questions or other videos you'd like me to make about Lombok or Indonesia. Thanks for watching.